to the ministry. Al, what is your take on the censorship of that video clip on YouTube? Man, I couldn't see it on, on my uh, uh, interwebs thing here. Uh, I understand, I but it's a, it. I mean, it's a Muppet dying. It, it's not that scary. Listen, I, I, I heard the audio, and it sounds about right. I mean, it just sounds about right. It's that's the way it is. The Israeli lobby and the Saudi lobby are the two most powerful lobbies that we have, period, bar none. So that sounds about right with all those noises and stuff I heard. You know? <laughs> uh, I, I didn't see it, though, but uh, I will look it up tonight. This Absolutely. In fact, if somebody's got an iPhone or something, just have them Google death, uh, uh, death of Skeksy. Uh, and and it, it's the clip, but it doesn't. <laughs> it, but it doesn't matter. The point is, what are they doing censoring? I get more censorship when I talk about Saudis than anybody else. That tells me they're pretty close to the top of the pyramid. I'm with you. I'm with you, Alex. Uh, I'm I'm with you all the way on that one. They are pretty close to the top of the pyramid. If you want to go to Builder Burgers and Illuminati and all that stuff. These are the people, these are the new Rockefellers, okay? And you know how much of a douchebag he was. So um, these are the new overlords that we have to deal with, all right? These Saudi people, man. And, and, and the Israeli lobby spends over $3.5 billion a year on lobbying Congress. So these pockets are lined. No wonder you want to be a congressman because I sure wouldn't be. Not only that, I have too many Polaroids in my closet that says that I can't run for, like, office, okay? I, I was told by one of the biggest record executives in the country that you are, of all the rock and roll people he knows, the wildest. And they said that if there's nuclear war, two things will be left in the world, cockroaches and Al Jorgensen. That's about right. So, 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 I'm going nowhere. so, 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 I'm not go, go ahead. No, what? no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, your, your Skype was breaking up for a minute. Go ahead and repeat yourself. Uh, yeah, I agree. Fully agree. Me and cockroaches. That's it. That's what you have to live for. Dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, um, tell us about your last record and your autobiography and then tell us what's coming new with ministry. Well, we got a tour, a big tour coming up, and we're going to do uh, songs from uh, from Beer to Eternity, and uh, it's a pretty good record. I like it. Uh, I think it's in the realm of ministry. It's got to be in the top three. Come on, just give it up for, for that. This last one's pretty good. We do this tour, and then uh, I'm doing some acting parts on Glee and uh, some other zombie movie or some sh I don't know, Walking Dead or something like that. Oh, yeah. or, I don't know. They they just keep calling me whenever they need uh, an anti or no, a villain, uh, an, an, a misanthrope. They always call me. They they want me for their misanthropic qualities. It's so you're the king of dystopia. Are you going to be a zombie? Apparently so, yeah. So you're going to be like some mega powerful zombie in the show Walking Dead. I don't think I'm that mega powerful because I read the script and I die at the end, so uh, I'm not that powerful. Well, that's okay because I'm in a Chuck Norris uh, movie coming out. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh, there you go, man, dude. I could just see you right now <laughs> because, I, well, I can't see you because they wouldn't put your feet on. But I'm sure you're naked, sitting in your office, absolutely, like, just like covered in honey. Yeah, no, 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 no. Dude. Seriously, the reason we don't send you the feet is we've noticed. If the connection isn't really good and yours is okay, for some reason sending you a connection back, your phone then or computer has to calculate that, and we've just learned that it ends up messing up the feed. Uh, but uh, bandwidth may have gone up in the last few years, so maybe we should start sending a feed. But look, you're not missing anything Listen. not seeing me. No, no, no. I know you're touching yourself in inappropriate places right now. How did you guess that? You're psychic. Uh, well, Al. <laughs> Al, we need to get hey. together sometime. Do you still ever visit Texas? Uh, 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 what's in my schedule? Uh, yeah, I should be there on uh, uh, May 3rd in Dallas. Because, I mean, a while back, I know you have family in Austin, and then I know also you, uh, for a while you were down there uh, in, at that apocalyptic. El Paso. Yeah, do, do you still yeah, live in El Paso? I was... No, I, I live in La La Land, but I'll tell you what. I'm going to go to play Dallas, 
and I'm going to sleep on the grassy knoll the night before. Well, if you Just really do. You, uh, and I'll be thinking of you while I touch myself. Ah, oh, stop it. Now, stop it. See, see, the thing about uh, Al is he's just trying to freak everybody out and be politically incorrect. And hey, let's shift gears to some really serious issues. If, you, if you're really going let's to the Grassy Knoll, I would love to come interview you at the Grassy Knoll, you know, 20 minute video interview. You want to do it? You're on. But you have to promise, you have to promise to eat an entire bag of psilocybin mushrooms. I promise. <laughs> oh, we're just been joking. There, we're just joking, folks. Been there, I've been there, done it. Oh, I it's bet okay. you've never done anything. I bet it's all a big act. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> just hey, me, I'm a little lily, lily. I've done. I am. I am as pure as a driven stone, my friend. But at the my friend, uh, you are sincerely disturbed. Uh, I've seen you go off on from Larry King on down. And I've seen you. You are just a disturbed person. I love you, man. <laughs> I follow you show every day. You are awesome. You make my day, man. I was so disturbed this morning. I am more and more disturbed. I think it is actually true. You know what disturbs me? How crazy the world is. And everybody just goes along acting like nothing's happening. What do you make of the fact that it came out that they secretly had death list of troops that had stuff they could treat and were killing them and not giving them treatment and then nobody gets in trouble? And then what do you make of them militarizing the police and at the same time trying to finance battles with the police? I think they're trying to start a civil war. What's your take on that? I think it's business as usual, man. This is nothing new. Are you serious? This is nothing new. These people have made a, a complete point of putting their jack-toed boots over our necks and keeping the populace down. Okay? So this is no news to me, and I'm sure it's no news to you either. Well, I agree that they want to create a paramilitary force to keep a boot on our neck, but at the same time, they want us to then hate all the cops to then create more friction. They're trying to create social unrest.